What's up guys? Ice Man here. So I made a necromancer and it's a summoning slash corpse explosion necromancer. Now the summons suck. The skeletons really suck ass and I knew this going into it. Because as good as Diablo 2 LOD Classic is, there's just some shit that doesn't quite make sense. Like the skeletons are little bitches in hell. So I've seen anyway. But to compensate for that, as far as I know, you use Corpse Explosion. Because Corpse Explosion does a ton of damage in Diablo 2 LOD Classic, or D2R rather. So check this out. What I do is I go to the Gold Planets. Now this Necromancer is level 39. Name is Ice Hog. I started him two days ago and I played like all day. I didn't want to take a rush. Uh, we were running Val, group and I, a few times in a row. And some guy offered to rush through Nightmare and all that, but I just wanted to slowly take in this experience so I can gradually uh, take in the power creep and start to take notice to what's lacking on this character. I thought the best way to do that, of course, as usual, is to just walk through Nightmare walk through hell, see how these skeletons do as I progress in level. So let me show you his skills real quick. So I don't know how close I'm to maxing this, I think I'm quite close. But I started off just kind of balancing between these two, putting some into Ray Skeleton, putting some into Skeleton Master. I put one into Golem off the bat, and I think eventually you want to put a few into Golem Mastery, and maybe I just use Clay Golem for the sole fact that it slows the target on hit, 37% uh, in this case, which is which is very nice. Mages suck. I'm pretty sure revives suck, but they're still probably worth it end game. But I just didn't want to waste any points in that stuff just yet. So then it was a fine blend. You know, you had to. I had to use my head and shit while playing. See, because corpse explosion does 70 to 120% of corpse life return to enemies. Now, what really matters about this skill is its radius. So every skill point you can invest in it increases its radius. So it's at 6.3 yards right now. So I had to uh, balance all that out. Are my skeletons surviving? Are they doing any damage? And more importantly, are they surviving? And if they are, that's good. So then as they survive, I can, you know, uh, distribute my points here rather as I level up. So it's, it's been a fine blend, man. And it's, it's been pretty interesting. Let me show you how he does, say, running Bell, or just the World Stone Keep. Now, I found this, pretty pleased with Oom's Lament, and actually found that Decrepify is very helpful. The thing about D2 LOD Classic is there's a lot of one-point wonders when it comes to these curses, and Decrepify is one of them. See, I didn't even invest a hard point into it yet. Uh, but now I know to do that. Once I want to phase out of Oom's Lament, I'm going to have to invest hard points into it. So I'm going to have to go one here, one here, and then one here. Maybe even more than one point. I don't know. But it slows enemies. It amplifies the damage they take by piercing their physical resistance. And in many cases, it breaks physical immunes as well. Just as Amplify Damage does. Amplify Damage breaks it more. Uh, I think it's like 50% chance, or 50 chance to 100%. But... Uh, I keep saying chance, god damn. It, 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 it pierces it by 50% Decrepify compared to how Amplify Damage doubles the damage they take. So it's, it's skills you want to compare here, but Decrepify is great early on because it's very safe to use, and I'll show you how in just a moment. All right. It's a safety spell, and it helps them do more damage. Watch how much it slows them down. Now it has a very small radius because there's only uh, it's only level four, but it slows them down a lot. And my skeletons are basically killing them right there. But see, this damage doesn't scale with hell or nightmare, so they're going to be doing 115 damage in nightmare right now which is very low and they've actually been dying a little bit as well so it's i don't know how well this is going to work out 
without just handing down GG gear to this Necromancer, which I do not have. So basically, you want to get one kill in, and then you start casting Corpse Explosion. So as you can see here, yeah, Corpse Explosion is great. And that's kind of what this build is centered around. You want to get a kill or two, and then just start exploding corpses. And your skeletons act primarily as meat shields. And they do some damage, but your mercenary is who you want to get those hits in. So mine's using insight. It's just nice for the mana regen. Uh, I want to get a better insight on him, but this is the best I have right now. I haven't found a better base yet other than just this non-ethereal four-socketed pull axe. So it does shitty damage. And I'm going to need a better one soon here. Hopefully I find one. I found an ethereal partisan which is the nightmare version or exceptional version of the pole axe. And I cube socketed the damn thing and only got two sockets in it. So that was really unfortunate. In fact, I probably could have Larza quested that. Come to think of it, because I think those at max can get four sockets, unlike their elite counterpart, which can get five sockets max. So I could have Larza quested the partisan, I believe, but that sucks now that I think of it. That was a bitch move that I tried to cube socket that. Now, this build, I think... See, look at this. I already have two, uh, two skeletons that are dead. So I don't know how well this is going to do in Nightmare. Uh, it's going to be a burden trying to keep uh, this army alive and uh, attempting to progress. But, so you go around, you cast a crap fight. It's kind of active, you know, and it's nice. It's kind of chill. I just wish, you know, that the skeletons did more fucking damage. Uh, because I'm used now to the PD-2 Necromancer. The PD-2 Summon Necromancer, the modded version of Diablo 2. They actually made summons viable. You can actually, uh, they actually do decent damage and they can survive okay. Now, I'm remaining optimistic here. I know some of you guys don't like the idea of Blizzard uh, implementing enhancements for future ladders. I hope that they do, uh, as long as they keep a classic ladder reset as well, where with no enhancements is just like it's always been. So I think simultaneously they should have a classic reset option along with a resurrected reset option. And hopefully in the resurrected reset option, if there ever is such a thing, they'll go back and balance some skills out and make a summon necromancer viable, and make a summon druid viable. Because right now it's not really a summon necromancer. Uh, it's just a corpse explosion necromancer, and the summons, uh, they suck, and they die a lot, but sometimes they get in the way of enemies, uh, which at times can be helpful. But yeah, I would love to have a necromancer uh, that can kind of rely on his summons more, and that's just not the case as far as I understand it in D2 LOD Classic or D2R in its current iteration. But let me know in the comments. Are you guys familiar with Summon Necro in LOD Classic? What sort of potential do they have? I mean, maybe with a charm, uh, an inventory full of Summon Charms and all endgame gear, they can do some damage, but I just really don't like having my inventory filled with charms, nor will I ever get that rich anyway. But let me know what your experience is like with the Summon Necromancer in D2 LOD Classic. So I'm going to make my way to Bal's minions, and I'm going to showcase how well he can do them at uh, level 39. So here I am now at Bal, and as mentioned, I think Enigma is uh, pretty key to this build if you want it to be an optimal or suboptimal farmer at least. Because with Enigma, you can teleport around and really control your minions, and they all teleport with you, so you can all you can get them all to hit one target generally. So without Enigma, you know they get lost. They don't always attack monsters, and they just go all over the place and aren't always where you want them to be. So Enigma is pretty fucking important, and it's kind of exciting right now, just thinking of how I could work my way toward an Enigma where my assassin, where she is at right now, is uh, really it's more optimal for me to make infinity first. But I feel like it'd be more fun to make enigma as much as I want one. I just think, you know, enigma's awesome. You can run fast as fuck. It has a bunch of MF on it. 
Uh, you can respec your character to where they have next to no strength invested because you just get so much from Enigma. You know, things like that. And the teleport, obviously. So it's a little bit more exciting thinking about how I can try to work toward that with this guy as the first wound word that I make. Whereas my assassin, I first pretty much have to make infinity if I want things to make sense. And then go for the Enigma, which is probably never going to happen. But getting there is probably going to be a huge problem because this kind of build uh, is pretty slow, as you can see here, and uh, it really sucks ass. If I had uh, Lightning Javazan, for example, right here, she'd just she'd have wasted this stuff in a matter of seconds, uh, even with starter gear on. So, you know, there's just a lot of imbalance in D2, and a lot of us love it how it is and uh, there's some fun to be had in that I think how, how there is a lot of imbalance going on there's a lot of overpowered shit but uh, the problem is if you want to run like uh, a different kind of build like this one here for example it's just a great sacrifice compared to say running a Hammerdon or running a Javazan or running a Blizzard Sorceress or things like that or traps in even because um, as you can see he really sucks ass uh, but let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this but check it out. Decrepify really works wonders on bosses. I mean, if I had a group here, my homies would be loving the Ice Toad and uh, what he's doing right now because he, Val's just really slow. Let me take the TP. Sometimes you have to resort to this to control your minions, as annoying as it is. Because as you probably could see, a lot of my skeletons were on the other side of the gap here. And they just couldn't get to Val. Now you want to spawn your uh, Clay Golem, because he's going to slow Bal even more now. Uh, he dies a lot. Maybe he could stay alive for a moment, get a few hits in. And Bal's going to be even more slow. So you check this out. And it takes a while to kill him. But it's manageable. So yeah, I don't really know what to expect from this class in this current build iteration that I have going on. For Nightmare. I did the Den of Evil, I soloed the Den of Evil, I ran through Cold Plains a little bit. That's about it, and his minions did die some. So now I'm kind of working toward just trying to get the damn skeletons to survive, uh, which is quite a feat to undertake. So check this out. Oh, okay, so Mastery's maxed. <laughs> That's kind of discouraging because they die a lot. And yeah, this is only normal. They don't get any life boost in hell. No damage boost in hell or nightmare. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Let's, let's let's go find out, though. So I can start... And you see, per level, he only gains 10 life. Gains some defense for whatever that's worth. And barely any damage. So their life is 373. Now, Golem gains life in hell and nightmare. Try to remember these numbers. 240 and 373. All right, let's go to a Nightmare game real quick and see if uh, they get any boost. I know that uh, their damage isn't boosted at all. I don't think their life is either. So here I am in the Cold Plains, and I'll get a kill here so I can start summoning my skeletons. Hopefully my mercenary will work toward that. So there's Clay Golem, see here? It, uh, does, uh, it has a lot more life now, but the damage is the same. Get a few skeletons up. Yeah, but Corpse Explosion is really good. Watch this. See that? This kills everything. This is awesome. But yeah, the problem is getting a few dead corpses. And I don't know how much your skeletons are even going to help in that if they're doing such shitty damage. This is uh, part of the reason, like I said, why I wouldn't mind if they did a D2R Resurrected Ladder Reset where uh, maybe they go and... You know, buff some things, you know, make, make things more balanced. You can try other builds and actually have them be viable. Because right now there's just no comparison. Uh, I mean, this is, it's quite slow. But, okay, check this out. 441. So they did get more life. Yeah, wasn't it 260 something? So that's good news. So they get more life. Uh, that's great news. Because they, they need it desperately. So yeah, they get more life. So we could expect the same in Hell, another boost for life. Uh, for Golem and Skeletons. 
So the key is just uh, getting, you know, killing. Let's see how well they can do. So they, they damage these guys okay. Of course, there's no splash damage in uh, D2Rs or in PD2. Yeah, so they're actually doing okay. Um, so that's uh, kind of reassuring to me now, where I think I could get through some nightmare mode without much hassle. So I'm going to update you guys uh, on how well Nightmare is progressing. I'm pretty happy with this guy's gear. Of course, you know, he's using, look at this. He's using a shitty shield. I can make this into Shale Eth, and I might. Or, of course, the one with the Lum, but I don't want to waste the Lum. It's like the best rune I have right now. Wow, shitty amulet. Uh, this was straight up given to me by some stranger. They didn't know I was Ice Boy or nothing. They just found it in the game and gave it to me. Stealth armor, ooms, as I've shown already. I found these uh, from Diablo, I think, so I was very pleased with that. Mantle just for the life, replenish, and uh, regenerate. You should be able to take advantage of the mana per kill uh, by the enemies you kill with corpse explosion. So there's that at least. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get some mana. Yep, I got some mana per kill from that. So yeah, you get the mana per kill using uh, corpse explosion if you get the kill. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, man, I mean, this is kind of interesting, actually. And uh, I'm really pleased that the skeletons do gain health in Nightmare and health. So that's great signs. And it's not terribly slow either if, if you run the right areas and get some corpse explosion going. Uh, maybe I'll even try cows. Here, I'm going to join this game with my assassin. I'm going to make Cows, and I'm going to join it with my Necromancer, and we'll see how well he can do a Nightmare Cows. Alright, so I made the cow level with my Assassin. This is Nightmare Mode. I don't have very high expectations. They do a lot of damage. It's like one of my skeletons is already dead. Uh, my Assassin does a pretty good job of running the Cows. Oh, shit. This isn't good. Yeah, this isn't good. So this is uh, quite difficult. Uh, maybe I'm damaged. Oh, fuck. Mercenary's about to die. See, once you get a few kills in... Oh, God. I'm dead. Yeah, this is quite difficult. But, of course, uh, he's, uh, he's a low level. There we go. Mercenary's dead. Who's my uh, primary cow killer here? So I don't know how well this would go. But yeah, you got a factor in only level 40. So I really shouldn't be doing Nightmare Cows this level anyway. So it's kind of a good reference point to know how the damage he does and how well these skeletons can survive. But you see this, they're just not doing uh, much damage at all. They are, however, surviving quite well. I think it's uh, partly due to how the previous mob uh, had amp damage. There was like a boss. The mercenary at him. Maybe amp damage would be better to couple with this pack. I can try some amp damage here. The problem is I need my team to survive, and uh, Decrepify, of course, reduces the damage that they output. Not bad. My Frenzy Barb, I might uh, try him out some. I wanted to get him to hell to so farm the Trav. He's a nightmare right now. Not, not far at all in a nightmare. Looks like I have a skeleton down. There go. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Necromancer, the Summon Necromancer in Duty War. Like in PD2, for example, they uh, they nerfed Corpse Explosion a lot. We actually have to invest a bunch of points into it to have it viable at all. Um, so they did that. But of course they bumped up the uh, damage and life of your minions. And Skeleton Mastery actually makes the Skeletons run faster as well. 
I thought that was really nice. You know, it was exciting to uh, be able to have a character where you can just sit back and chill. You can sit back and chill with that necromancer. And I kind of like that option. Try this last mod here. You gotta cast Decrepify like crazy. Yeah, but I'm really pleased with uh, Decrepify. Many would say it's overpowered in D2 LOD Classic. Which is why they never put a lot of the mods. But yeah, uh, where the Necromancer's lacking, you know, I'm going to use Decrepify and whatever I can to uh, make up for it. But yeah, if you guys will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you to my patrons and my supporters. I recently got a few more patrons, it's been really nice. So appreciate you guys for your support. May the Creator bless you and keep you, and may you have many wives. Peace with you.